What's up everybody, Arctic Platypus here. I'm just going to bring you a quick unboxing and review video for the Razor Black Widow Ultimate Term Tournament Edition Chroma. Pretty sure is what it's called. Let's go right into it. Let's open it up here. We have a little letter. It says, congratulations, there's no turning back. Just basically welcoming everybody to the Razor community. I already have the Razor stuff. I'm just trying to get a new stuff. Here. Let's throw that aside. This comes in a really, really compact carrying case. And if you guys didn't know, this tournament edition keyboard is the uh, really small version of the Black Widow. Um, it's much smaller than the normal Black Widow. They basically remove the numpad. There's no macro keys on the left side either. So you have this really nice compact carrying case. And this is a mechanical keyboard. Let's whip it out. This thing is really, really nice. And this is the Stealth Edition, Term Edition Stealth. So basically what that means is instead of having basically MX blue switches in the keys, they're basically MX Red, but it's by Razer, so they have their own special brand, which is basically, I mean, it's called a Razer Orange, and the, the, the clicky ones, the louder ones, are called the, um, the Razer Green. So you can see, it's a very compact keyboard. You basically just have all the keys you need, um, no numpad, you can see. Um, really awesome. And then over here in this clean case, we just have this connection, the USB cable. So, very nice right there. I guess it's gold. It doesn't really matter. I mean, all these Razor things have the gold line cable. But um, let's see what this is here. Anything important? Probably not. Old gamers, buy gamers, and that's the razor thing. So check this out in here. Sorry with this camera here, guys. Oh, okay, so they, they give you some stickers here. Put those on a computer, whatever you want with those. And use a little manual, it looks like. Old version. Pretty much just gives you some basic info. Um, here's all the list of contents, system requirements, installation, very simple stuff. Basically just need to install Razer Synapse. You can do a lot of customization. That's what I'm going to jump to in this next segment here guys. So I'll see you right there. So okay I have it all set up here and you can see the rest of my setup here is my mo monitors, mic, and everything there. Just for scale, this is a 27 inch monitor. Let's try to get it back a little bit. Look at how small that keyboard is. So I'm gonna be using this as my main keyboard, but I think the idea behind it is that it's designed for traveling. So let me just bring my old, key old keyboard in here for comparison um look at that so that's like the size of a normal keyboard this is the razor death stalker below it here and then there's the stealth edition black widow so i mean it's a crazy difference you can see this is a tiny keyboard but i mean look at that the color is awesome the chrome that's what the chroma does you get all this nice color there's plenty of options that I'm gonna go over here really soon but let's just let's hear what this sounds like real quick so you still get quite a bit of noise right but oh those feel really nice and if you guys are upgrading from something like a chiclet keyboard or just a normal membrane keyboard what's really nice about these mechanicals is they just, you, you know when you're clicking down, you're not gonna have any of those weird errors that you might have on some other keyboards. 
I mean, they're just really nice and satisfying to use. They're very nice. But, okay, I'm gonna go over all the different options that you can have with the color scheme and whatnot in the razor settings. I'll show them on screen and then also what they do on the keyboard. All right, so here we are here on screen and you can see we have razor synapse open. You're gonna definitely need this if you want to be customizing your keyboard in any way. So basically you can have these profiles here and I could make a new profile. Um, and then that totally resets. If I were to show you my keyboard, it would reset every setting that I have because it's a brand new configuration. And then if I go back to my original profile, um, I'll just call this number one, then that is one of my profiles and my other one will totally switch the keyboard to a different setting. Um, and then you can have shortcuts down here to open programs, kind of like a macro, pretty useful, pretty cool. Then we're gonna go over to the lighting tab and over here, you can select your profiles again for your lighting. And then this is just some basic settings here and you still have all this link program stuff. Then here you can change the brightness and yeah, that's, that's pretty useful right there. Um, switch all the lighting to all the lighting off when the display is turned off. That's pretty useful too. Here's where the chroma really gets cool though. You open this chroma configurator and I just did a really quick setting here and I made it so all these keys, WASD, R for reload, one, two, three, four, AS5 as well, and shift, all these FPS keys, they'll be always highlighted purple and you could change whatever key you want. You can do a bunch of different settings here. Really, really cool. Um, so then all the rest of the keys are just cycling through colors. And I'm gonna show you that with my camera here. Um, let's go right into that. Okay, so as you can see, this keyboard, it's currently set to have the, uh, those keys that I just mentioned being turned purple. And of course, I started filming this at the very wrong time because all the rest of the keys are about to turn purple. But you can see the rest of the keys are slowly cycling through colors. There you go, they're white right now, kind of yellow. Um, I'm now turning green, they're just going to cycle through all of the different possible colors in this chroma. And you can do a lot of different settings, so let's let's go back to just the number one, uh, or so the profile one. Then once we do that, that totally changes everything that's going on right here. Way different. It's just going to do a full cycle through. And if we go back into the Chroma configurator, we can do some other settings here for this preset. We could do something like a really cool ripple. If I apply the ripple, this is just really, really weird. I don't even know it's a lot of different settings you can do here, but let me just show you the basic ripple. So it's gonna turn, the key's gonna be, keyboard's gonna be blank. Whoa, okay, look at that. Keyboard just looks like it's off. You press a keyboard, press a key and it expands outward, changing color. The ripple changes colors you go through. How cool is that? It's very distracting. Very, very distracting. Like I would never use this while I'm playing a game, but that's so cool. So cool. Okay, let's check, check out some other settings here. There's just so much to play around with. You can go do a static. That's what I had on for some keys earlier. Let's do a really special, uh, let's do a really cool blue or something. Mm. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Wow, that's really cool right there. That's a nice blue static. 
I, I would probably recommend using a static. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Um, I mean, actually, I'll probably be using a spectrum cycling, just the one I had on at the beginning. There's also reactive, and I think you could probably... Yeah, let's check out this reactive. So reactive just turns on the keys that you're pressing, and it keeps them on for a certain amount of time. I can actually change that amount of time. Let's do a long. Apply. And it'll keep them that color for a little bit longer. Kind of cool. There's just so much to do in this program here. And you can test it all yourself if you want this keyboard. But um, I'm just going to go back to my default profile, my main profile here. That's just so cool. I think that's really cool that they allow you to do all this kind of stuff. I mean, if you want a compact keyboard that you can take around wherever you want, or even as a main keyboard, I'm just going to use this as my main keyboard. It's possible I'll regret it and might want a bigger one, but I think this will be fine. I don't see any problem with a small keyboard. It gives a lot of space for stuff around it. Look how far away from the monitor it is. It's really nice. And if you're looking for this kind of keyboard, with the stealth keys, I know there's, there's, I really couldn't find any YouTube reviews on this, the, uh, this specific keyboard. I mean, um, so it's, yeah, it's the Chroma, the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition Chroma Stealth. Really cool. A lot of customization options. I still have to do a lot of work to customize for what I want. I'm not sure I'm liking this purple here, but really cool stuff. If you're looking for this kind of thing, I would certainly recommend doing it.